Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Willie, and welcome to another vlog. It's been a while since I did these, so I'm trying, trying to get through these probably almost every single day, so I can tell you guys about what I think about the games and other things, and the, whatever I think about, and well, mostly about games and stuff like Street Fighter V. And um, it's been a while since I actually um, played a Street Fighter game. So it's definitely uh, very, very new to me. Playing the fifth one is actually pretty, uh, well, I was actually a little excited about it. Uh, but I were hearing some things about the game and I will probably go through it later. So one of the things that I was noticing about Street Fighter V, which will lead me to the subject I want to talk about, um, was that, okay, obviously there's no really story. They have like multiple sections that's like you can beat it in like five minutes for each character and it's like supposed to be just a little moments from each character to me it was it was kind of weird for me to just like okay i was expecting it said story like all right the story is gonna be great then i realized it was just like little tiny parts about the character and it's like i beat it in like five minutes which was really weird it's not the traditional arcade which they said that they will put the arcade part what that's stupid because that just seems incomplete in the first place if you're just going to put it online now i know now i know there's you know thing about pro players you know about oh we know about the online thing and and before the game came out a lot of pro players were talking about how how bad it's going to be because it's slower it's like oh it's online only crap it's it's stupid it's like why why we even playing this game it's not even as good as the fourth one and like even some pro players were actually complaining that you know experience when they play in playing tournaments like now um that in street fighter 5 you know a lot of new people were actually beating which makes sense it's like come on we need some new guys who could actually kick some butt but no they had to always have to freaking complain a lot which is which is dumb it's like you got beaten so what it's, and another funny thing is that pro players are seeing it as more it's like oh it's more casual because they don't want to now do very good so easily you know people say it's easier some people would say it's just stupid with the free trigger and all that but i want to tell you guys something about casual games which lead in this subject so for me in street fire 5 i think it's stupid to get it now because there's no story they're going to put story DLC, but that's stupid. That's just more money coming out of our pocket. It's going to be like $60. It's going to have to have a lot of shit in it, not just freaking, let's put an online thing in there. Let's just, you know, because we know everyone's going to buy it anyway, because, because you know, everyone's going to just buy DLC, just like EA, you know, they're going to buy all that too. It's important for not just Street Fighter V, but all games to stay at you know if, if they're going to make sixty dollars they're going to have to stay um by doing a couple of things make sure the game is damn complete and make sure it's not always online only because online only it didn't definitely didn't work out for titanfall titanfall was just not not doing well a lot of people were upset because they expected a story because of the trailers but it ended up just being a mix of multiplayer with sort of story thing and I, people not really were happy about that and it's like well great where's where's the happiness of it also not to mention battlefront you know it's like you need to go through seasons we'll, we'll give you new maps it'll be fine you just go ahead and compete each other you know competing is fun it's just sometimes we you know there are casual players who just want to play the game and not worry about people taking everything too seriously because they play the game just to try to relax and have a good time after a long day of you know whatever people have to go through, whether it's work or school or just other stressed out things. Some people just want to beat the computer's asses, beat the game's ass in general, so they feel good about themselves, so they feel really good. I always feel good when I beat the story, and, and it's always satisfying because I get to see the end depth of what the game is about, you know, not just, I want to just play online only. That, that's just boring. It gets boring, you know? If you're going to go pro mode, it's like, come on, I don't I don't want to have that much time dedicated just to play that one game and be good at it. And off chance that I won't get noticed because there's so many players out there anyway, and sponsorships being needy and greedy. And, and it's just really, really stupid. Casual play still makes the most money 
than competitive because esports, yes, it's big, but it's still not going to be good enough for a company that's going to focus on that. You know, uh, it, has, it has to be a really interesting game. Like, like of course, Rocket League is good because they have a bunch of other cards. It's all about that soccer sport place. That's that's all they focused about, and it actually made more sense um, if they just focus on the sports, but. Battlefront had always potential. That's why people were upset about Battlefront uh, is because it always had potential for a certain story or, or certain campaign, you know, uh, a journey to go on, you know, and not just, oh, play online only. It's just stupid. And, like, and, and people didn't like that because, like, it had potential to actually have some campaign in it. Of course, that's and of course the other reasons why Call of Duty and Halo are still very, very good is because they at least have story, not just competitiveness. You know, they focus so hard on both ends on on competitive mode and just regular campaign of the story. They focus hard on two of those things, and also the other extra stuff. You know, like like Call of Duty Nazi zombies or like um, like Halo with the previous Halo, they had like a wave to wave type of thing. Or they have brought waves of enemies that come at you. But so so it's like another thing for you to do, not just play online and get mad because of the online servers and stuff like that. And that would drive people crazy. So what I'm trying to say is casual is definitely the still the big thing that companies should still worry about is try to make sure you get the casuals because without casual players who just want to play the game, have a good time, um, then you know, you're not you're not gonna attract them because not everyone wants to be competitive. Not everyone, you know, wants to rage at other people when they actually, you know, when when the one minute they're doing great, and the next minute because they're online crap, they they lose their mind. It makes them more stressful because you want gamers to actually play the game itself and need some kind of thing, some kind of adventurous tone they can go on a journey so because sometimes they want to be like by themselves or co-op co-op campaign is fun too you can just like all right let's go do this together and, and uh, beat the story beat this boss together and blah 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 and th and that's what makes it great you know for those for you guys to make casual games and i think casual games should still be a big thing and street fire to work on a dlc for story is stupid that, that's that's where you drive people away you gotta have the complete game itself so everyone could just get it and then update sure you can put updates in it that's why you can put updates later you know <laughs> not just be like hey we'll give you this tiny piece for 60 dollars and then we'll put the rest in for more money it's like thanks i just paid hundreds of dollars just trying to get the full experience all right so that is my vlog for today thank you guys for watching i will do more uh if you guys want me to talk about something else of the matter when it comes to games you let me know and i'll, and I'll give my opinion if not i'll just look for other stuff i, I see in news or like whatever i see on 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 tv that strikes my interest in gaming wise so i am william and this is my vlog and uh oh sorry and i will see you guys later